previously on Beer and Board Games. My dad immigrated here from Cuba in 1982. You look like an asshole. <laughs> Who among you does not know the thrill of battle and the heady aroma of victory? Maybe you're a scrawny panty waist who just is into book reading and has never been in a fight in your life. In that case, I challenge you to a story war. You know what goes well with a story? $100,000, but also beer. Tonight, the show is sponsored by Ken Roundtree. Roundtree, Roundtree. I bet it's. I bet. You, I bet you that's. I bet you that's how you pronounce it. You were losing it I already. I turned into like a dumb Porky Pig. Because Porky Pig is <laughs> such a known genius. <laughs> Professor yeah. Pig, I call <laughs> it. Like, like... Ken Roundtree chose this beer, Guinness, a classic beer. Some beers you don't drink it for a couple years. You think I don't even remember how that tastes. I always remember how Guinness tastes because nothing tastes like Guinness. Yeah. What are the flavors we're getting out of this? Coffee, a little bit of coffee. I think there's a little bit of like a hickory flavor. Hickory. The hops are giving you the hickoriness. Hops are the hickory, the hickory to the hop. Story War is a game where you get into battles with your friends, and then you decide who wins. So what we want to do to start with is you pick three of these red ones, and then two blue. Like in the game Cards Against Humanity, there are blank cards that we have written in our own little things on them. So those might be coming up uh, as well. Did you know that Prince wrote a Sheena Easton song? Sh Sugar Walls. Sugar yeah. Walls. Sugar Walls and Story Wars. You know what Sugar Walls are? Vagina. That's what I figured. I, I was thinking that. She invites you into inside her sugar walls. Really? That's really pretty sexy. Is that is pretty sexy. I wouldn't say it's sugar. They're sweet. Like pickled sweet? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll be the first judge, because I don't know how to play. I'm... You two fight. Your battlefield is the Mystery Mansion. Flip them over. Boom. Goblin. Wizard. Welcome to the dinner party at <laughs> my Mystery Mansion. Ha <laughs> 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 run off. Oh, you're fighting. Explain what your strengths and weaknesses are and how you're going to destroy the other person. We're in a mystery mansion. It is full of all kinds of shadowy corners that a goblin can hide in and he can jump out and get you. You can't cast a spell on what you can't see. The wizard has a spell that can locate them via a bloodhound. He summons the bloodhound, finds the invisible goblin, and then the wizard makes the goblin his slave. And the first job for the slave is to lick the wizard's boots and to fetch him a new afghan. Oh no! Oh, oh run off! Okay, okay, but at the end of the day, I'm still a wizard and he's a goblin. Okay, everyone knows a goblin's smell. You hardly need a bloodhound to find one, but a bloodhound will find it. So you turn your character like this now. You're not oh. defeated. You're weakened. Now right. you're fetching afghans and licking boots. But the fight isn't over yet because now you choose a, an item card. Well, if you got the best of me with your spells, then I'll have to use some spells of my own with my winter wand. Whoa! No! This ice device can freeze with ease, and I'm gonna freeze you in the dick and smash it into a thousand pieces. Yeah, not my dick! <laughs> And, and then stab you in the neck with a fork. You're weakened. <laughs> okay, I'm weakened, but it happens to be that I have a fetish as a wizard of frozen <laughs> dicks. So I get off on it. Uh, the pain is just part of it. It's good. <laughs> we all know that goblins can't get enough bramble. That's why I lay down some bramble seed, and all of a sudden the goblin's eating bramble. I can't resist a good bramble, yeah. but I am in the throes of bloodlust murdering this wizard. Actually, the bramble helps because it's the root of all evil. I think you've spelled your own defeat. Oh, because I make him evil by eating? You make him even more evil than he is. <sighs> goblin triumphs! Yes! Wow, tough break, <clears throat> Dylan. Well, at least I got off one more time before I died. <laughs> <laughs> The battleground will be Renaissance Fair. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. There's no description here, so I'll have to make one up. Uh, Renaissance Fair is where uh, sad and lonely nerds go to play dress em up. Uh, wear capes. You get to wear capes. Oh, oh, yes. It's a whole field of cape dates. <laughs> and no one looks askance at the capes. 
Phoenix. Doppelganger. My first um, disguise as a doppelganger is I'm doppelganging one of those guys that sells pickles. So I'm like screaming and shouting really loud about my pickles. I will have none of it because I, the Phoenix, am the sheriff of the old Renaissance Fair and I'm going to have to take you out, pickle vendor. Normally you're a good man, but you're weird today. I'm not really a pickle vendor. I'm a Phoenix too. What? And I run the Renaissance Fair. You're me and I'm you? There's only one way to figure out exactly who's who here. I'm gonna strap us both to a time bomb. See you around. <laughs> it seems that he's killed the both of you. <laughs> oh, has he killed us both? <laughs> I'm a phoenix! In your face, doppelganger! Wait a minute. <laughs> Out of the ashes of the old, the phoenix rises. I'm a rises. phoenix too. No, you're not. You're a doppelganger. <laughs> you're, I'm back uh, again. No, no. <laughs> you take on the image of the phoenix, not the phoenix's abilities. I can't really argue with that. I have to give it to the phoenix. That's pr a pretty ironclad uh, battle there. That is a load can't of... Can't beat a phoenix with a time bomb. Well, and you killed all those people at the Renaissance Fair, which is just great. <laughs> Nerds. No great loss there. Talking about your core audience, Matt. They like, they like the abuse. <laughs> Listen, it's very sad. The field is littered with charred capes and pickles. Courtesy of Steven Anderson, we are toasting Darcy Falka. It's also uh, Steven and Darcy's two-year anniversary. Happy anniversary! Hey, happy anniversary! anniversary. Falka and Darcy? Darcy Falka! Darcy's one bad mother Falka. Remember to love each other every day and uh, to tell everyone else that you, you're happy and, and lie when you're not. I challenge you, Dylan, to a story war. Desert Oasis, a tiny tropical haven from the burning desert sun. Or is it? It's going to be the scene of a beatdown for somebody. Yeah. Hiya! Behemoth! Red Dragon, who is also a millionaire. <laughs> Says so on the card. I'm going to outsource your job, ogre! I am as tall as a skyscraper, and I crush everything. You maybe have the weight advantage. I'm not sure if you're fire resistant. Let's find not out. Not only is he not fire resistant, but I can fly, so your height differential makes mm. no difference whatsoever. Plus, my millions of dollars have paid Blackwater to come in and start <laughs> fire in your ass, you know, Iraq style. Fallujah's knocking on the door. You are so greedy though that you can't fly because you never want to let go of your gold. I will give it to you. He's too preoccupied with his gold to fly, but he still has Blackwater firebombing your ass. Fallujah that, style. Fallujah style. Okay. So I think maybe you are weakened. Okay. But how are you going to come back from this? Well, I step on him and crush him to death immediately. I uh, have the resources to go to the Mayo Clinic. No, no. What are the <laughs> I go to the Mayo Clinic. What I get are the uncrushed. Of me crushing him. You, I get crushed and go to the Mayo Clinic and Wait, get healed. You can't okay. go to the Mayo you're, Clinic. You're at a desert you're on oasis a desert right desert now. Oasis. Stop, stop talking about the Mayo Clinic. They don't have a branch here. I don't think the dragon is as small as. You. Why is your hand up? Because he gets to just like say, oh, by the way, you can't disagree with anything I said, and I just killed him instantly. That's not fair, and I need a rebuttal. You didn't kill him instantly. Okay. He's a behemoth. Your enormous bulk has injured the dragon. I'm thinking a well-chosen item could tip the balance of the battle for one or both of you. Philosopher's Stone. I turn all of the gold that he's clutching into poisonous acid. I pick the mega mushroom and get them all high. One uh, second, it says here that you eat it, you become humongous. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, if you had eaten the mushroom yourself, <laughs> it might have helped you, but you gave it to him, no, but... turning him even bigger than he already is. <laughs> but I have the Mayo Clinic on. <laughs> the... You have to stop feeding your enemies things. It only works against you. <laughs> America! Broader America! Tell them! Tell us America. Broader America? That's that what I what call you... the rest of the world, okay? <laughs> I would like to raise an insult to Amber Shatswell from Carrie Shatswell. Ooh, Amber insulted Carrie a few episodes back, and now this is the revenge! That's right. He really wants us to be cruel, and this is from Carrie, formerly Hank Shatswell. He changed his name from Hank to Carrie? Yes. I don't get it. I don't get it either, but we're insulting Amber Shatswell. I kind of want to insult Carrie. Again? <laughs> I sort of do. <laughs> I probably shouldn't. Amber, you deserve it because you insulted first. You drew first blood. You're ruining Thanksgiving for everyone, again. <laughs> Amber, you're the reason that 
the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park exist. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with the blood of dinosaurs in ya? Story what? War was inspected by 202. 202? I went to high school with that guy. What the fuck is this constitution doing on this table? Where did this come from? One second it wasn't there, and the next second it was there. Now what the hell's going on, Dylan? It's so weird that such a good document is on the table. Do you have an endless supply of constitutions? I, people give them to me and I love them. I carry one around at all times. And just like uh, the uh, amendment uh, 15... Oh! <laughs> America has a constitution of 18. All right, let's fight, Matt. The underworld. What's that, Cerebus? Are you barking? Is someone here? <laughs> Open up the gates. <laughs> Lich. Nymph. The ne necromancer stores her soul and her staff to stave off mortality. A necromancer, and I'm in the underworld, realm of the dead. So my powers are even more powerful than they are in, in the overworld. You are very powerful, Lich. I respect that. Stop I, messing with my head. I don't want to hurt you at all. You win. Just let me live. I don't buy this shit. And I will be... So I raise up the dead to murder the limp. No, please, don't <laughs> murder me. I'll do anything. You just got murdered. What? You... you can't just say I'm dead? Please, Mr. Please. Leech, don't do anything. And she's like, I'm summoning the dead, and they just... they just. I can't even play a fucking object? No, because you, you just gave up, and the necromancer <laughs> killed you. Yeah, throw my cards. That's what you get for, like, trying to... You know, I remember that Mayo Clinic bullshit you pulled out okay? <laughs> don't tell me, like, oh, don't hurt me, I'm not gonna fight you! And they'd be like, why do I die? <laughs> Alright, congrats, Matt. That was an easy one, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't give up, okay? How about that? I didn't give up! What are you talking? You're like, ah, don't fight, I'm not gonna fight you! And she I summoned the dead, and they murdered your ass! I had a poison dagger! I was they... trying to get close to him! Well, too bad that didn't work. She didn't even have to get close to you. <laughs> She's blowing off every dead dude in the fucking Hades, all right? They love her. I'm gonna have to say I'm entirely with Dylan on this one. Don't... <laughs> what? Yes. I was you using can't a clever ploy. And you try to bluff, it didn't work. It happens in poker all the time. That's yeah. how Hitler got Poland, though. Oh, Poland, I love you so much. Oh, God, yeah, they were invaded. And that doesn't, you're not Hitler, okay? <laughs> We're gonna do a three-way battle. We're all gonna fight each other. A backyard barbecue. Craig is... A, a unicorn. Dylan is a knight. <laughs> Matt is a heroic dog. <laughs> Everyone at a barbecue loves a heroic dog. Only virgins can see me. I'm the a virgin. I can I'm, see I'll admit it. All right, virgin. I hump everything. I'm a dog. You can't see me. Stab! Okay, the dog's dead. The... <laughs> no, I didn't say that. The dog is weakened. You've what been the stabbed hell? by unicorn horn. Uh, uh, well, uh, I am a dog, but I'm wearing a mithril tux. So ah, unicorn okay. stab does shit nothing. What? Didn't hurt you. Oh, woof woof. You barely notice it with your elven dog armor. I'm going to use my pickaxe, which allows me to create a mine directly underneath the unicorn that the unicorn falls in. Over the course of three months. <laughs> no, it's a magical... Sp this antique axe you can mine with the speed oh, of it's seven not... dwarves. That is... Uh, they're very... They're whistling all the time. They're fast workers. Magnet! Got that! And you're attached to my magnet right now, Mr. Mithril. Because you're trampling you and trampling you and trampling you. Uh, <laughs> all of the barbecue participants, all the virgins at the barbecue, there are many people who just came from the Renaissance Fair, they're having a barbecue. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm a unicorn. No. Nope. Oh, I'm a unicorn. The heroic. You're, you're trampling a dog, a heroic dog. But they're not going to be on your side. They know that you're a fucking evil unicorn. Oh, but I'm a unicorn. And they're stabbing you with marshmallow forks. Magnets. Magnets. They're burning you with hot coals. Oh, but no magnet for hot coals. However, the virgins don't really know how to use like the skewers and things like that, so they're not really <coughs> damaging. If the horse can't harm me. Eventually, I'm going to gain some ground and bite him in the neck and rip out his throat. As right the now. ground caves in on all of you and on top of you because you were building the horse <coughs> didn't know what you were doing. What? I have the speed in, uh... Yeah, no. you, yeah, you have yeah. the speed of dwarves, but not the fucking sense of dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> you die. I call you shenanigans. Mithril, this is so. a bunch of bullshit from the last... You and your <laughs> pussy Shut the fuck defense up. I'm strategy. The judge. You are injured, and you are injured because you fell through a hole. I summon my last bit of heroism, and I rip out the unicorn's throat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty tall, and he's been trampled for a while. How oh, does he reach my throat? Wait a minute. A horse falling into a mine, all your legs are broken, and you need to be <laughs> shot. <laughs>
<laughs> as soon as I'm done, stabbing and trampling you. No, you got your broken legs. Falling in the thing. Stab. The first Stab. thing on a horse, I rip Stab. out the throat. It doesn't work because you have mithril, so you win. Boom. <laughs> Heroic dog. Minutes later, you find a dead knight under all the rubble with a pickaxe. I eat the, the knight's corpse to regain my strength. <laughs> you feel that you have the ability of six dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they were invaded and that doesn't you're not Hitler, okay? <laughs>